Welcome back everybody. In this video we are going to be discussing a different way you can make variables in MySQL. And these are still user-defined variables. So they have the same scope as the way we talked about in the last video. And I'll be getting into the reasons why there's different ways to do it in just a minute. But the way this is going to work is using a select statement. So first, let me write the way we, we made a variable in the last video, and then I'll compare it to the new way. This was the first way I taught you how to make a variable in MySQL. You use the set keyword, and then you give it a name. In programming, this is known as an identifier. Whenever you have an identifier, you can change it with whatever you want. So you don't have to make this at passing. You can make it at whatever. It doesn't matter as long as you put an at symbol so MySQL knows it's a variable. So that's the identifier. And then you use an assignment operator and you assign the value 66. So in this situation, this is the assignment operator. And this can be different than the comparison equals operator, which we'll be discussing in just a minute. So this is kind of like an overloaded operator. In this situation, we're using it to assign a value to a variable. But later, we'll see how this can also be used to compare things in a comparison situation. And that'll make more sense once we go through that, but just be aware of that for now. Finally, we give it the value 66 and use a semicolon to tell MySQL this is the end of the statement. The new way to create a variable is within a select statement. The very first thing you need to do is replace set with select. And then you use the identifier just the same. And then you need to assign it a value. And in this situation, the assignment operator looks a little bit different. You are going to use a colon and then an equal sign. Once you have that, you can give it the value. You can also see here, you can use different data types with your variables. So to summarize, the only two differences is this change in keyword from set to select, and then this change in the assignment operator to a colon equals. But what's the main difference here? Well, this one up here, this is just going to create the variable, but this one is going to actually return that value of whatever that variable is. If you guys have watched my other series, you'll know that select is what we use to get information. It's not always selecting something from a database. So if you know this, you can put a from statement and you can say what table you want to get that data from. But you can also just put an expression in there. So an expression is something that is evaluated to a value. An example is 5 plus 5. If we were to do something like select 5 plus 5, we are going to get back a result table that says 10. So normally when we have a result table, the column name is up here. Instead, it's going to be the expression, and then we'll get the result under that. So this is what this is going to return. So if you go select 5 plus 5, you're going to get this result table. A very similar thing happens when we use the select command to create a variable. When we run this command, it's going to take this, and it's going to put it as the header of that column in that result table. And then the result is going to be whatever the value of the variable is. So that's one of the big differences between using the set and the select command to create variables. In the next video, I'll be explaining why we have to use this colon. Onyx, can you drink your water when I'm not making a video? <laughs> In the next video, I will be explaining why you have to use this colon equals. In that one, we're actually going to be getting on the computer and using this pretty cool tool to run SQL commands. I think you guys are going to like it. So we'll see you then. Be sure to subscribe. And yeah, that's about all. So yeah, bye. Like me down here. And go away, I'm, 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 I'm making a video. Come at me. <laughs> Ow! Oh, that hurt really bad. It. it hit my tailbone. I'm sorry. Love you. No, you don't. I didn't mean to hurt you.